I don't know, there are things in 54, nearly 54 years on this earth I just will never understand. Um, one thing I will never understand ever, I mean, people have their reasons and excuses, but I'm going to actually understand is why anyone would hate another person for no other reason but being different. Nothing they did, nothing they said, nothing they could ever do or say, but just living different. <laughs> Be them black or Hispanic or Asian, gay, straight, lesbian, trans, whatever. I just hate them for just living wild that way. It just doesn't make any sense. I mean, I can understand hating a person for their deeds. Not liking them, hating them, being angry, upset with them for living while being an asshole to other people. That makes sense, but hating and wanting to kill somebody for being different? And wanting to kill somebody because they don't believe as you do or think as you do? It's just nuts. Uh, I, I, just like see it all the time, you know, these hate-filled crazies, just crazy people, just completely crazy, don't get it, you know, that run around saying shit like Jews will not replace us, trying to run over somebody in a car, killing Susan Hare, trying to run over peaceful protesters in a police car, hearing people, cops say shit like, oh, we're not killing enough brown people. It's like, what? <laughs> and and um, seeing people, or hearing about you know, cops just being there, as John Stewart said, to keep segregation alive, racism alive, institutionalized racism, keep the other races down. Why? Really, why? You know, what's the point? <laughs> yeah, I'm mean, it's aware it's there. I can't help being aware it's there. What's the point? I mean, does it serve anyone? Really? <laughs> or, you know, treating women less than, or treating other people less than, or treating people as less than to feel better about yourself. Why can't you just do shit to feel better about yourself without, you know, like, making other people feel worse? What kind of sadistic shit is that? Abuse. <laughs> endless child abuse, endless spousal abuse, endless abuse of women, kids. What's that all about? Why do you have to, you know, what is a person's place and why do you got to keep them there in the first place? Hmm? Just endless questions and no answers. It'd be nice if there were some answers, wouldn't there? Tired of feeling angry all the time because, you know, it'd be nice if there were some solutions. It'd be nice if people would hear people that are suffering instead of just ignoring them and then acting shocked when they get angry, pissed. Vengeful? <laughs> American history, 400 years of treating other races like garbage, and instead of, you know, maybe we should make amends for that, we got people going, let's make America great again, and do it all over again. 
Yeah, okay, that makes a lot of sense. Sure. Meanwhile. And then there's, like, sexual predators. I mean, I don't get it, you know? Really don't get it. Never will. I mean, really? I don't understand what makes somebody see a kid and think, hmm, I think I want to have sex with it. <laughs> Jesus, I mean, it's like baffles the mind. I mean, shit. I was in scouting for decades, you know, over a decade, 12 years. And maybe I was too girl crazy to notice anything going on, because I was. But it never occurred to me, hey, now if a woman had come by and all naked, I would have been like, yeah. <laughs> Nothing perverted, but I would have, you know, been excited by that. And if I, you know, because I was only interested in women, man. And I've never been interested in underage women of any kind. I'm not Ted freaking Nugent or Jerry Lee Lewis. Anything, I go the opposite way. <laughs> First girl, I ran 10 years older. Older, you know, don't know why older, but just happened that way, I guess. I'm really my own age, but a little older. A couple times my own age. But even gay people, you know, never, I've met, none of them were like, hey, look at the kid, or all like, hey, look at the same sex. Nothing perverted in that. Just, I can understand bigotry. I don't agree with it, but I understand it. I mean, we're all a little hardwired to be xenophobic, I guess, and you know, sometimes think we're superior, raised to think we're superior, whatever bullshit that is. You know, most people are just like, well, you know, I'm, you know, my dad's father was a racist fuck, but it never occurred to him to, like, harm other people. He just kind of, he didn't do himself any favors by not having a relationship with his own grandchildren for years, but that was his loss. But he didn't go around trying to harm other people. You know, this idea of, I think I'm going to go online on a 4chan or 8chan or whatever damn chan it is, because it's 4chan, I don't know, and go, I think I'm going to get together with a bunch of other people like me and plot to kill people who run around and try to start a race war or a civil war actually going out with the intent to harm other people it's just like what seriously <laughs> okay i don't know you know i don't know I mean, it seems like even every attempt to stop in the past just keep, keep on making more of them, so I don't have any answers. Uh, the devil talks about, yeah, stop teaching hate. Well, yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's a start, but. It doesn't seem to end it, I don't know. Uh, I don't know, you end up hating people that hate. I don't know what good that is, but... There are people that end up hating. There's attitudes, ideologies that are just like, wow, you can't... You, you, you just aren't... You just don't play nice. I don't know. Uh, 
I don't know why fascism keeps taking root. What what's so appealing in that? I don't you know the, oh yeah, I just feel justified and or whatever, you know, people think, oh yeah, I like that idea. Yeah, let's follow the guy. Yeah, we, he eats the same people we do. I mean, I can read about it. I can see it. I can see why someone like Hitler did what he did and got away with it. Because people are like, yeah, 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 let's have a big party and throw everybody in a gas chamber. <sighs> why people don't learn to see it come in or people don't learn well maybe that's just not a good idea I don't know it's like yeah or why history's written down and think oh that's a good instruction manual instead of hey let's not do this again you know 1984 is a instruction manual or the writings of the Holocaust as an instruction manual and Mein Kampf, you know, was probably written to push his beliefs, but it really should be taken as, oh, hell no. <laughs> Never read the thing, don't want to. The history of religion, you know, like, you know, killing in the name of whatever. And just, it's just stupid. I don't, I don't know. Wish you could fix stupid, but you can, but... I don't understand what's wrong with silencing hateful people, but I mean, kill them, but just don't give them any voice. Shouldn't have to kill hateful people. Shouldn't have hateful people trying to kill other people, but you have to stop them. It's just like, you know. I don't get what. I mean, I see it, I guess. You get someone like Trump that it's a match lighting off bombs, but. You know, why are people so ready to be a bomb and hurt other people? And why do people have to come along and hurt the people that are hurting the people? Well, as Titus talks about, you know, we're going to have some peace. We'll have to take out the people that want to disturb the peace so we can have some damn peace. It's like, why can't we just have peace? Yeah. Well, I can't. Uh, people quit killing people that want to live, in, you know, that want us to live in peace. I mean, Jesus, bang. Gandhi, bang. Dr. King, I think I already said that, bang. Just doesn't make any sense. Not at all, you know. John Lennon, bang. Yeah. Bernie Sanders, can't have that. <laughs> no, nah, we gotta keep everything the way it's always been. Why? What's the point? What's so great about it? What's so great about the past that people wanna go back? I don't see shit that's great, all that great, you know? Move forward, I don't understand. I, yeah. I felt I had to walk away from scouting because I felt like everyone was looking at me like, you know, why are you here? You know, it's like, in my answer, I've always felt like, well, <clears throat> to do good things, to, to be the ide ideal of ideals of what it means never occurred to me to be creepy but paranoid people thought I was creepy and that paranoia made it, made it impossible for me to do it so I don't know I should just never look back at that I don't know why there's so many creepy people around anyway I'm having to put them out my life you know. dumb drummer from my first band thought he was alright had a friend then he turned out to be a creepy fucker 
Uh, you know, I guess he gave some warning signs. I just thought he was awkward, whatever, but I had to kick him out my life. Don't know why they keep coming around. I don't know why, but God be creepy for, or hateful for, or sexist for. Or, you know, don't understand why people are so hell bent and people not having abortions or whatever. You know, they're like get in their face, be argumentative, be terrorists in the past, even kill. Kill a doctor. Yeah, that makes sense, you know. Kill a doctor in the name of life. Kill people in the name of life. Okay. I'm like, why? I don't know. You always see his reasons and blah, 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 excuses, blah, blah, blah. But it's like my brain just wants to know why. You know, the one simple word. Why? Why has it always been this way? Why does it always seem to be this way? I don't even understand what can change and what can't. You know? I don't know why I get so cut up in trying to fix the whole damn world. I can't even fix my own life. It's just, I, you know? Why? You know? Because it's the way it's always been. Why? Because there's some things you can't control. Why? Because it's just that. It's the way life works. Why? Life isn't fair. Why? <laughs> It'd be nice if someone could really answer the question why in a satisfactory way. Hopefully there are enough people that are asking the right questions to make the right kind of changes before you all go up in a puff of smoke. <laughs> oh yeah, there's fracking. Trashing our planet. Why? We gotta live here. Oh, we can live somewhere else. Why? <laughs> so we could fuck it up too? Well, that makes sense. Yeah. <sighs> Well, huh. it's a nice day out, so I'm just going to enjoy it. Peace.